Something a bit different today then, folks. Yes, I'm in the greenhouse. Yes, I'm sowing seeds, but I'm not on my own. So today then, we're teaching you to sow seeds. Me? Yeah. I have never sown a seed in my life. This is going to be interesting. So what we're going to do today then is complete beginner is going to sow some seeds. Um, and that means you're totally allowed to ask questions, not understand things, get things wrong. All of that is okay because we're not born knowing this stuff. And you have kind of a ringside seat because you know how much I get wrong and how much I kill and how much just doesn't happen. <laughs> but you obviously have an advantage because you obviously watch all my videos. What, of course I do, from beginning to end, every week. Right, you've got your cup of tea, importantly. Cheers. Cheers. Should point out, Kate made the teas as usual. Right. Unfortunately, because of space, this is weird because we're not looking at a camera, we're looking at each other. So apologies for no eye contact. <laughs> but um, I've got all the stuff up here for making our seed sown mix. Okay. Okay. Now, you've heard me speak about seed sown mix. Basically, it is just really, really light and fluffy so it's not going to get all bogged down and damage the little tiny roots but it's also really free draining so those tiny little seedlings don't get waterlogged Also, I've given you your own wipey Am I going to get dirty? You didn't say I was going to get dirty <laughs> Welcome to my world oh, man. And because I know you and your brain I've given you loads of paper and a pen as well Now here's the thing then I've obviously started some of the veggies yes. I've started the dahlias Yes, I saw you doing that. Yep, so if you guys didn't catch that one, that's the last video, so you can go and watch that after this one. But we've still got heaps of other bits and bobs we can be doing. So, I thought, how's this for a bit of fun? Would you like to take charge of some things and you can grow them and you can decide where they go in the garden and that can be your contribution? If I say no, it's going to totally ruin I know, it's going to be a plan. sucky video. <laughs> so, yes, yes I will. Excellent. You, you, you've heard that, folks? It's on camera? Oh, <laughs> it's wrong. It's going to be my fault. Squeak. Ugh, it'll be fine. But this is the thing. It's not like you don't garden. No. You just don't sow the seeds, usually. You put, you put loads of effort into the design of the garden. You're the one that keeps it looking really I neat and tidy. I did the weeding, so... Yeah. And you know about plants and stuff, so... If I grow from seed, then maybe I'll have a better chance of going, that's definitely a flower, that's not a weed, and going, mm, she died. Mm, mm, mm. That's <laughs> true, actually. That is a really good point. If you grow from seed, it means you recognise seedlings a bit easier. I'm not mean a bit easier. There's no foolproof here. What we'll do, i tell you what, right. Shall we start on the petunias? OK, because we need about 8 million. We do. And so also, so we've got heaps of people that are waiting to sow these with us. Because this year, we are all going to have the best Hanging baskets and planters. It's a carrot worm. It's not, it's not ours. Right. Petunias. Now, two things you need to know about petunias, apart from the fact that I have heaps of videos on doing this, but they're really old videos and they're awful, don't watch them. Cringe. But you're so young, isn't it? I am. Right. Petunias are one of the seeds that need light to germinate. OK, so you think of sown seeds, you think of putting them in the soil, covering them over, and then a little seedling pops out. Yeah. There are a lot of seeds that actually need sunlight or light to spur that germination on, so you don't cover these guys. So that's the first thing. The second thing is they're very small. How small are we talking? That's a hundred seeds. How do, how, how do you... How do you sow those and know that you're not going to get <laughs> when you want it? So you're going to do your best and you're going to broadcast sow them. And that means you just scatter them over the surface. Okay. Obviously, you're not going to get very far with all of this. Okay. No, I'm not going to need a right. big tray. I'm going to need a little tray. What you can do to make it easier is you can actually put these in sand and then you can actually sprinkle the sand because you can see the sand. So, oh, okay. It's a great idea if you're doing a lot of them, but for that amount, I think it's just a waste. So... Plus we don't have any sand. Yeah. So. so that is Stars and Stripes. So this is important that we don't mix these yeah, up. Yeah, put them back in the same packet you took them right. out of. So there you go. Okay. Now we also have, because I know you like these ones. They're pretty. 
these ones do awesome. They just lasted so well. Now, same again. Are they, are they also in... Oh, man. Okay. So we're going to do one each. Now. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it would be awesome. We visited Pentland Plants and they were selling these as little plugs. Yes. Brilliant, because then you've got one petunia plant and you do what you want with it. So, realistically, do you think you can sow one little seed? No, no. I can't even see one little seed. So what Much we're less find one little seed. <laughs> so we're just going to broadcast them into a seed tray and bring them on. And then later on, maybe in three or four weeks, when they've got the first set of true leaves. Do you know what that means? Yes. Excellent. True leaves are, your little seedling comes up and it's got usually one or two little leaves when it comes up. Those are its very first leaves or baby leaves, they're called cotyledon, but baby leaves. You wait until it's got its next set, which are its true leaves, before you prick it out and pot it on. The only reason for that is, it means it's a bit more stable, a bit of a bigger plant, so it's less risk. But also, you can handle it by those little baby leaves, and if one comes off, it's not the end of the world it's because it's got its proper leaves and you've not gotcha. damaged it that way. Oh. Top tip. Okie dokie. What we're going to do then is we are going to use the trays there. These ones? Yeah. The reason being, those have got their own little propagator <laughs> lids. Yay. So it just means we can sew and cover them and keep it all nice and safe. For one second there I thought the compost had gone in my tea. But it didn't. It's okay. Do we just need one of these each? One each for... For these. Yeah. Um, I suppose I'm on this side. I shall give you some. Soil. Potting mix. Seed mix. Seed mix. I was paying attention earlier on. Well. You were. Guess what you get to do now. Do I get to tamp it? You get to Yay! tamp it. With the tamper, what I made. So what we want to do then is we want to make Look it nice that. and flat. <laughs> so that when we put the seeds on there, it's all nice and level. And the seeds don't roll about, and the water doesn't roll about. Did I not make that? I must have measured this oh, it's, other seed box. It's this seed box, yeah. That's okay, there's a trick. Use the bottom of another tray. Okay. I actually saw a really good trick online the other day. Okay, what was that? When you're planting up outside, mm -hmm. and you want to space out all your seeds, rather than measuring them with a stick, use a muffin tray. Ooh. And it makes a little different yeah. for each of you. Yeah, that That's quite cool. Do you want me to do all of these? Yeah, you can do that one with your camper. You just ask them for me to make you different sized campers. That's why you've got different sized seed trays. Yeah. Monty has different sized campers. Yeah, well, Monty's been gardening a lot longer than you. I thought you were going to swear there, we're going to have to cut the video feed. Can't swear, YouTube doesn't allow no, it. I wasn't going to. New rules, YouTube doesn't let you. Now, what do you think is the next step? Hold out your hand. What does it feel like? It's all dry, it needs water. It needs water. Oh no, I might go on your tea. Um, I'll my tea. There is a watering can just outside the door because we didn't have space. We're really struggling for space. And I'm going to let you give these a good water. I'm going to make a mess. Ah, don't worry. It cleans. Now, the reason we're going to water it now is because if you try and water it once you put the seeds in there, It'll the slush. water, it's going to slush. It's going to knock the seeds all over the place. So we make it nice and wet now. A wee bit more in that one. This one. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Your watering can's got a dreep. It's got a dreep, it's got a dreepy bit. There we go. It's 
quite toasty, that sunbeam. It's very toasty. I'm going to end up with a sunburned neck. Let's hope not. Indeed. Okay, so... Oh, money in the jar again! You're back, huh? I'm just tidying. Um, do you want these? Yeah, one each. What's next? Seeds, I'm guessing. Or, I got a really great tip this week. Let's put the labels in before we do anything else. So that we don't end up going, which one of these is Do you have a preference for which labels you would like? Uh, no, I don't mind. Okay. There you go. You have your own mar special marker. There you go. And we have Stars and Stripes and Frost Mix Petunias. Oh, and also I'm going to put an E on mine so that when none of mine work... Do you not recognise your own handwriting? No, because it's so perfect and looks like yours. Really? Frost mix. Frost, yeah. Okay. Making sure we've got the right one. Okay, you can always double check if you're not sure and make sure you've got the right one. So I'm going to do Stars and Stripes first. So I'm going to make sure I'm in the Stars and Stripes one. I'm doing Frost Mix first. Stars and Stripes, possibly. Okay. These, because they are so small, it's so easy to drop them anywhere because static will make them stick to the lid and things. So you can just tap them so the seeds will drop. Like okay. a medical drama. <laughs> but open it over your seed tree. Don't open it over your potting mix or your potting. Trust me, guys. Petunias everywhere! Trust me, foxgloves, remember? Everything, everywhere, all at once. Petunias. Uh, a few years ago, I gave all my neighbours sunflowers because I had so many and they were all foxgloves because I had got foxglove seeds in the compost. Right, so we're going to open it over the tray and you're just. Now, see what I mean? Look, there's one on my finger. That is how small we're talking. Minuscule. So you just do your best and just s sprinkle it, give it as much Shoot. space as you can. Yep. You're not going to be able to see what you're doing. I was going to say, I'm not even going to be able to see these coming out, am I? No, nope, but you can just tap them. They're all stuck in the bottom. <laughs> now, the reason I'm saying try and just go over all the space is because we are going to have to prick these out when they get a bit bigger and it's easier if there's a bit of space. That's it. Now, you've got some on the tip of your finger. No, that's pain from Eric. Okay, cool. <laughs> that's it. Sharpie from when I was writing the label. Okay, so that's, that's yeah. done. Now, you can, some people will put a tiny bit of compost on or a tiny bit of vermiculite. It helps to stop the surface drying out because you want to keep the seeds moist. That's going to make them germinate. But I'm not going to do that because I've found you get better germination if you just leave it as is. Give them a light. Okay. What we're going to do now is you're going to put your little lid on. With these, always keep the vents open, guys. Okay. You want to have airflow and ventilation. Otherwise, you're just going to end up with mould. Okay. And what these do is they help to create a nice little humid atmosphere in there. And seeds like it when it's humid. They like that moisture. So that's what they're for. And what you're going to do now is you're going to put them in a sunbeam. Probably back of my neck. That's probably the best, the best sunbeam. But yeah. given that that's not well for just now, appropriate to yeah, them put, them over put them over there for just now. Um, and we will set them up on that shelf when we're finished. Okay. Do you want yours over there too, or can you find something to put yours? Um, you haven't put your little lid on. My lid doesn't fit this one, oh, so right. I'll put mine in one of the big propagators. That does fit that one. That's the one that is it? Fit. Yeah. That's because that's the one I've just sewn, not that one. <laughs> How close was that? I almost double sewed. So take me through it then. What am I doing with the next ones? So, I'm just have to stop things. Take your little chibi thing out, tap it so that all your little seeds. 
Now, word of warning, your hands are going to be slightly damp now. That's why I just get carefully drying them on my scissors. Tuck them all and then open it over the seed tray okay. in case anybody tries to escape. Okay. And then gently tap and spread. Tap and spread, people. I swear you cannot see anything coming out of there. I think most of them are on that side. I think they all came out in one go. That genuinely is the hardest thing about growing petunias from seed. People worry about how difficult it is to grow these. That's the bit that's difficult. It's dealing with how small the seeds are. If you tried to do that individually one seed at a time, it would be a nightmare. This is just the easiest way to do it. Make sure your vent's open. And there we go. Cool, little guys, cool. What you'll see is these are sitting in a sunbeam. They'll get all warm and they'll get all steamed and misted up inside. Because these guys need light, it's a good idea when that happens. Maybe come in every day and just give it a wipe so you can get the light in. That is it, my darling. You have just sown your first seeds. What do we think? That was okay. Tiny, can't believe how tiny those were. That was ridiculous. Now, everyone knows that we're quite tidy, but there's a good reason for doing this. You're dealing with seeds and you're dealing with your soil. You don't want to cross-contaminate. So you don't want to put, maybe you dropped a petunia seed here. It will stick to your hand, it will go to the next thing. So it's a good idea to wipe up, clean up in between. So, how are we feeling about your first lot of seed swans? I'm going to turn into you and be out here ch checking on them every morning, aren't I? Trust me, when that first one germinates, it is so exciting. You know there's going to be more grow-alongs with Kate in the next few weeks. As usual, if you need to know more, we've got you. Go see more hanging baskets and amazing flower videos here. See you, folks.